I started here as an apprentice, worked my way around the department. I'm a specialty coordinator. I look after three consultants and registrars. Um, I make sure the appointments are up to date, answer emails, phone calls on a daily basis, make sure their appointments are all booked. I always say I enjoy my job. There's not a day that I actually think, oh, I've got to go to work today. I actually enjoy what I do. I enjoy interacting with the patients. My consultants that I work with are lovely, so it's nice to work alongside people who appreciate what you're doing for them as well. Having a team that you get, get on with with inside work, you're always there to help each other out. If you feel one day that you have maybe too much and you're not going to be able to complete it by the end of the day, you can always go to a colleague and say, look, would you mind helping out? And every single time I've done that, I have always had an answer of, yes, we're happy to help, we can help each other. Um, always willing to help each other, I think, is is the main thing. My initial goal when I first started here was to work my way up throughout the NHS and, and see where I end up really. I would, I would like to go higher, maybe a team leader role, something along those lines, but uh, at the moment I'm happy with what I'm doing, but that, is my, that was my initial goal when I first started here. Patient contact is absolutely wonderful. That's probably the best part about being in the NHS is the patient contact. Given the hospital that we work in, it's not necessarily always deemed to be the happiest place, but when you actually meet the patients, it, it makes your job worth it. You have to be compassionate, you have to be friendly, you have to be flexible. Patients appreciate a, just a little bit of compassion. I don't think they want too much compassion, they don't want to be felt sorry for, but they just want a little bit of help, and if you can give them that little bit of help, it goes a long way. I have the best colleagues. There is absolutely no doubt. We get on so well. We are very diverse, we are very mixed, but we seem to get on really well. And that works very well for the patients in the job role that we have to do. We work very well as a team, so much so that we have a list of team activities that we will be doing over the course of the next year outside of the workplace. I'd recommend the Trust as a friendly, flexible workplace. It gives you a sense of purpose. It gives you a sense that you've helped somebody that could be a patient or it could be a team member. You go home knowing that you've done your best for somebody that day. I like getting up in the morning and not worrying about what I come to work. I like coming to work knowing that I've got some satisfaction. It makes the job absolutely worth every single minute of coming in. Our job is basically to ensure that all of these patients are seen by the right people in the right places and that they, they leave knowing that they've received good treatment. A few weeks ago there was a lady who came in and she misplaced her glasses. It may only be a small thing but she, she lost them and um, I was able to find them in one of the nurses' bays and she came in the following day to pick them up and she was, uh, she was over the moon to find them because they were quite expensive prescription glasses. So. Um, and yeah, she was just really happy and it made me happy knowing that I'd helped. There are two things which are, I find particularly rewarding about working here. One of them is working in a team and delivering the, the sort of the care the hospital gives as a big admin department. And secondly, the, the, the main thing is that the patients, knowing that they've received good treatment and they've been seen and they've, been, they've not been waiting for too long for transport or, or for their doctor, and knowing that we'd be able to help in some way, hopefully in that sense, is what makes it rewarding. I think what makes it fun is, is really talking to patients, getting to know them, getting to know the other staff in the trust. And after patients check out, while you're checking them out, they'll, they'll chat to you and they'll tell you how, how their treatment's gone. And often when they're discharged, they leave with a big smile and that's what makes the job fun, I think. The team are a point of contact for all of the patients. They're there on the other end of an email, they sort out their appointments, they smooth out the whole admin pathway, which I think is really important and the patients wouldn't get seen without the team. Knowing that the patients have had a smooth pathway and a smooth journey is for the most rewarding part for me. The special skills that are required for being that point of contact for the patients is sensitivity and understanding and knowing that the people who might be phoning you, the patients who are phoning you or emailing you, yep, they're going through a really difficult time in their lives and just having that sensitivity to 
make everything as smooth as possible for them. Found working here in the Cancer Centre to be really flexible with hours. I've recently come back from maternity leave and I was able to go part time and compress my hours. So I get that work-life balance of having days off with my son and being here and fulfilling the role that I do. With regards to the team, we try to be as flexible as possible with hours. People work anywhere between eight to four to 10 to six. The people I work with are the reason I get up and come to work in the morning. Everybody's so friendly, everybody gets along, and I think the people you work with really do make the job worthwhile.